Greetings. Um, today I'm going to talk about a film that is 50 years old. It's one of the best comedies ever made, honestly. It's Blazing Saddles. Um, now this is a film that uh, you know Mel Brooks made, co-written and directed by him. Uh, there's various writers, Norman uh, Steinberg, Adam Bergman, Alan uh, <clears throat> uh, Ugert, and also uh, Richard Pryor helped write this film. And um, he was supposed to play uh, Sheriff Bart, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll, there's a couple reasons why. Richard Pryor did not play the main character. Uh, one is he was at that point, 1973-74, when the movie was being made and came out. Richard Pryor wasn't really a big star at all. He was still doing stand-up comedy. And from that also, he was, well, from what he was known as, you know, he had a lot of legal trouble. And was, you know, and some of this, you know, material was fairly, at that point in time, controversial. So, because of that, uh, they, it was not basically a situation he could be cast as the main guy. So, Cleavon Little played the Sheriff Bart, and he did a great job. Gene Wilder plays Jim, and <laughs> back here says my name is Jim and most people call me Jim uh, also known as the Waco Kid you know the fastest gun in the west um, also Slim Pickens is in this film Harvey Corman's also in this place uh, <laughs> uh, uh, Hadley uh, They, they make a big joke out of this throughout the whole film. And at the end, near the end, they are basically breaking the fourth wall. And you know, it's he Hedley Lamar, but, you know, it sounds like Hedy Lamar, the actress, um, who was also the inspiration, the uh, big inspiration for Catwoman. So because of that, they constantly make fun of that and, uh, uh, character, um, Slim Piggins plays a guy who was helping with the rail railroad getting fixed or built and uh, uh, Cleavon Little's character, you know, Bart, he's one of two guys who goes to <laughs> see how you know how the railway as it's being fixed or being made and uh, he discovered there's quicksand in the middle of the uh of where they're trying to build the the railroad and so they gotta find a new way there's a town called uh, uh red rock ridge rock and uh yeah they decide to uh try to scare everybody to run them out of their town so they can you know go and build their railway railway through there because that's it alternative that they could actually um, uh, uh, build on and uh, Madeline Kahn later shows up as Lily von Stoop she's a German you know she has her own little uh, show that she does and she's singing and everything and then you know she's brought to try to once Bart becomes a sheriff, and there's certain things, like, obviously because he's black, you know, he's not very liked. Um, but when she shows up, you know, Hedy, Hedley Lamar decides he's going to use her to uh, uh, basically uh, yeah, get him out of there by seducing him and everything, but 
doesn't exactly work. And Mel Brooks plays the governor as well as an Indian chief. And as the governor, he's a very incompetent man. He's just very, very also horny for his secretary. And there you go. And, uh, it's just, uh, you know, a very, you know, he's, he's like, he's like corrupt and also easily just manipulated by Edley. And he's, you know, uh, it's his, it's his, uh, him, uh, putting the, putting Bart in charge as the sheriff and how like you know this will be a revolutionary thing you do that you put the first black sheriff in this country and you will at some point you know you'll be looked at as one of the greats and revolutionaries of the country and might one day be able to become president and all this stuff so you know but of course you know when he first sees him and he goes to try to talk to him but he can't really see too well because he's kind of like Yeah, uh, he he he's just like, hey, have you uh, seen the guy? He's a <laughs> sorry, one guy, yeah, and then nothing personal. And uh, a big thing with this is there's a lot of uh, you know, racial uh, humor. N word is said a lot in this film, and uh, it, it, it's just one of those things where at the time you know you could definitely you, you could say that stuff in a film like this and of course it, because it's a parody it's a satire it's fine and and as time has gone on people look at this movie they're like you probably could never really make this kind of movie today because of how everything is like it's very like politically correct and everything and so uh, but that was part of the fun it was the point was this is a movie where everybody can just make fun of themselves and it's just so dumb and there's a documentary on here you know back in the saddle in which as you're speaking about this movie mel brooks is like you know it was kind of really a dumb movie you know a lot of the stuff that go that happened in this was kind of dumb um which you know happens um, this is one of two Mel Brooks films that came out in 1974. The other is Young Frankenstein, which he co-wrote with, uh, Gene Wilder. Um, this DVD also has Black Bart, a 1975 pilot episode of the proposed TV series spinoff. Interestingly enough, I have never actually watched this, despite having this for years. Uh, I might need to watch it sometime uh, I mean, I've heard about it, but also some of the things I've heard, not enough to really spoil it for me, but it just really wasn't all that great. But then again, you know, what made Blazing Saddles funny, you know, you could make a movie about that. Uh, but on TV, you know, a lot of that stuff is going to get cut out. Um, and so it's like, well, like, I don't know. It's something where it's like, how could they make a TV show about this? But, well, they tried. They at least made like a spinoff, you know. Uh, yeah. This is uh, just one of these films that I enjoy watching every so often and figures it's, this is cut. This is the 50th anniversary what better time than to watch it? And uh, I believe there's some kind of 4K release coming this year, so I might also get that and put a 4K in the Blu-ray just to, sort of like as an upgrade. But yeah, I could go on and on, but if you have not seen this film, it is definitely worth a watch. Again, it is, you know, there are there's racial humor and other such things that, you know, would basically be very inappropriate. Um, uh, well, really, at any time, but, you know, in this day and age, you know, with comedy and how various 
things are like, you know, you can't say that. Um, it, it's one of those movies where could you make something like this today? Yeah. A lot of people say, no, you can't. Um, and, uh, you know, Tropic Thunder was made uh, back in 2008. Um, ben Stiller mentioned how you probably could make that movie today despite, you know, <laughs> Robert Downey Jr. Playing in, being an actor in the film and basically being <laughs> an actor is playing a black guy. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's really good. And uh, I think it's worth watching. So, uh, yeah. If you've seen it, what do you think? <laughs> do you like it? Do you dislike it? Or do you rank this as one of Mel Brooks' best movies? And I think this is probably my favorite offhand, but Young Frankenstein's great too. Um, anyway, hope you're all doing well. Have a great week, a great weekend, and all that good stuff. Uh, see you all next time. Bye.